Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to work through an example of how to write the factored form of a polynomial from its graph. So let's write a formula for the polynomial graphed below that has minimal degree. So here, this minimal degree just means the smallest degree possible. We can't for sure tell the degree of a polynomial just by looking at its graph, but we're just going to make one with the smallest degree that makes sense for this graph. So just don't add any extra degrees where they might not need to be, is basically what this means. Okay, so we have our function here, and we need to piece together what's going on. So first, I notice that both ends are going upwards, so they're going in the same direction. This tells me that I have an even degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient. So this is similar to x squared, which has both ends going up, that has a positive leading coefficient and an even degree. So we know those two things need to be true for whatever formula we come up with. Then I can also see the horizontal intercepts. So I have those at x equals negative 3, x equals 1, and x equals 4. And talking about the multiplicity of these intercepts is going to help us out. So the intercept x equals negative 3, we see the function touches the graph and then bounces off. So that means it has even multiplicity, since if we just think about zooming in at that horizontal intercept, it's like a little mini parabola. So it's behaving like an even polynomial, so even multiplicity. Then at x equals 1 and x equals 4, the graph is passing through those points, so that is odd multiplicity. So at those points, the graph is behaving like an odd polynomial by having one side up and one side down. So now that we have our intercepts and the multiplicities, we can help put this together in a potential equation. So we're going to have f of x equals a, where a is our leading coefficient, and then we'll put our factors with the horizontal intercepts. So I do x minus a negative 3, and I'm going to put a squared on that, since it's even multiplicity. Then this is multiplied by x minus 1, and then x minus 4. So the x minus 1 and the x minus 4 have degree 1, so there's like a 1 exponent on the outside. We don't usually write that. That's the odd multiplicity, and that's the minimum degree. So that's what it said when it asked us for the minimal degree. We don't want to put a 3 or a 5 as the exponent. We just want to take the minimum and put a 1 as the exponent. Then for x minus a negative 3, this gets a 2, since that is our smallest even number that we can put as the exponent. All right, so we have our potential equation. Now we just need to find a. So this is the same process we use when we're finding a for a quadratic. We're going to take a point we know on the function and substitute it in, then we'll solve for a. So here I see the point 0, 6 is on my function. So I'm going to substitute in 0 for x and then set it equal to 6. So I have f of 0, so I'm substituting in 0, is equal to a times 0 plus 3 squared times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 4. And then this is equal to 6. So the x value is 0 and the output value is 6. Now we have an equation with just one unknown and we can solve for that unknown, which is a. All right, so I have the a in front and now I'm just simplifying. So I'm getting 3 squared times negative 1 times negative 4 and that's equal to 6. Now we just keep solving and we'll eventually isolate a. So 3 squared is 9 and then negative 1 times negative 4 is a positive 4. Then 9 times 4 is 36, so I'm getting 36a is equal to 6. Now we divide both sides by 36 to isolate a, and I'm getting a is equal to 6 over 36, which is equivalent to 1 over 6. So 1 sixth is my a value, and this will be my final answer for my polynomial with minimal degree. So we say we have f of x equals 1 sixth times x plus 3 squared times x minus 1 times x minus 4. So I like to just do a little check at the end to make sure this satisfies what we thought should happen. We said that the degree should be even. So if I look at the degrees on these terms, I'd have a 2 plus 1 plus 1. So that's degree 4, which is good. 4 is an even number. And then I see the leading coefficient is 1 sixth, which is a positive value. 
So we have a positive leading coefficient on our even degree polynomial, which is what we wanted. This is the same process we follow anytime we're trying to write a formula for the polynomial when we're given the graph. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.